What's up, guys? Bad Pimp here. All right. Let's talk some Orcs, Dawn of War 3. Let's do a little breakdown. I want to talk about what we saw in the video and what we can expect from Relic. Let's do this. Credits for the video go to IGN. Thank you, sirs. All right. Let's dive right in. And thank you again, IGN, for the video. What I want you guys to focus on here is how I think that finally the animations that the Dawn of War Relic team is going for makes absolute sense with the orcs. If you can see, they almost look comical. They're like jumping out of the screen. Everything's trying to grab your attention. Honestly, I like it. I really like how the buildings are moving. But in this aspect, in this sense, it's for the orcs that I like it. I'm not sure if I like it for the Space Marine or Eldar. It just makes sense. I mean, look at that walker. Those animations, the movements, it feels very robotic. And you've got to love the jump in here. What I'm not loving here so much is the striking animations. It all starts becoming jumbled, to say, or maybe confusing, a lot of noise. I'm not sure exactly if that's the best thing. And here we go, another fight scene. Got the Daka, got the, some sluggers up front, apparently. And some two rocket boys, rocket dreads in the back. I'm not sure what the units are called. But we can see that the atmosphere is getting darker. It's grimmier, but it's still a little comic book-esque style. Uh, I think this is good for the buildings, but for the units, I'm not so sure. Here we see some bomb squigs jumping into some crowds and doing their deeds. <laughs> And here we go. Here's where I think some of the animations really play out. When I saw this, I was like, oh, hell yeah. Love this. I'm loving this. I see. This is why I think like the animations, they work for the orcs. Now, I'm not uh, sure specifically if it's the units seem too idle for me. But when they're in combat, they look great. All the walkers look great. Uh, all the big, uh, you know, 10, 20 meter uh, tall units, they look awesome. Like, look, all this fighting right here, this looks great. I like that it's quick and fast. You probably could have smooth and fluid control of your units. It's all looking great <coughs> as far as this. But my fear is that the, the infantry units are not getting the same level of, of detail, the same attention. Uh, here's another fight scene. And this is where I start saying that it starts becoming too much. Like, it's great to watch. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know how I'm going to keep track of this. But the things that we want to capture our attention on are like the Gorka Morkanaut in the back. The, all the death threads in the vehicles, they look fine. They look fantastic. Like, they really caught the essence, especially the Morkanaut. The, the movements is exactly how I imagined it in my mind when I read the books and everything. But some of the infantry animations are just being lost. Uh being lost i guess on me like it's becoming a lot of flash maybe we can lose some of the flash for the infantry to start looking better and here's a prime example of what a, a fight scene could be in dawn of war 3. but there is so many things to keep track of obviously this is the first time i see it first time you guys see it i imagine and the noise that's coming out from the combat scene is becoming confusing becoming you know distracting almost i i don't know where the my units are you know i don't know where the orc units are where they should be but it seems like the eldar being the fodder for this round i'm sure they were tuned down just to see the awesomeness that is orcs <clears throat> so let's go the unit by unit breakdown because i think that would be more helpful for us in this scene, we got Gorguts on loop. I have zoomed him in, and we can see his new power claw, which is about the size of him. He's got the jaw that moves. I love the animation for the character. I think he stands out. It's uh, very, very orc. What's weird, however, is that now he's apparently a uh, bad moon, because he's all in yellow, which the developer said that uh, they'll be explaining here in the coming uh, weeks. But yeah, the war boss, there he is, Gorguts, doing his thing. 
All right, the next in interesting character that I want to talk about is the weird boy here in the bottom right center of the screen. Looking all good. I am super excited that we've got some uh, weird boys in the game. And if you look, we even got Gretchen at the bottom right. I think this is going to be new and exciting for sure for the orcs. I love to see some weird boy on <coughs> the battlefield. Ooh, all right, my next exciting character is the Killer Can, baby. This one we saw in the uh, uh, video trailer of the game. I am super duper excited for this guy. All right, the next bad boy is the truck. And we saw this earlier in the previews where these guys throw out the uh, orcs from the back. Looks like at the top here we got some kind of looted tank. I'm not sure which one it is, but it looks pretty dope. So after it's all said and done, what do you guys think? Is the orc reveal good? Is that what you wanted to see from the orcs? Do you, did you expect something different? Uh, if you want to know what I think, I think, you know, it's the best that I've seen so far that really captures, the orcs really capture what I think the developers have been trying to express in their, their new stylistic uh, take on the Dawn of War series. I think they really, really represent it. The other ones I'm not so much sold on, but you know, I, I love work, so I think they should be a little more fun, a little more cartoony. Obviously, it's like Phil Bull said, you know, if you were in that situation, it wouldn't be that funny, but as an outsider, they are very funny. They are very cartoony, they're very animated, and I'm fine with that. What I would wish that we go, a change go forward change going forward is the some of the the attack animations and some of the lighting effects are just a little over top for me it feels like it kind of distracts from the game itself but we'll see i mean we haven't uh, <coughs> seen the final release so things could change since by then we'll see all right bad pimp out guys let me know what you think in the comments